We are the, the Jacobson, Jacobson Project. Project. like to do these little projects. It seems like my whole life, whenever whenever I work with my dad on a project, he always likes to start out with a, like a starter project and, um, you know, start the work and then, and then eventually get into the big project. You know, you, you build your, your work shop or your garage or your workspace or your, your, your necessity space and then you dive into the real project. In this case, the necessity is a place to go to the bathroom. So, <laughs> so that's the yurt project. Um, I'm going to also eventually in this video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to I'm going to take you over and show you the prototype yurt that we're using as a hunting stand. Uh, my dad has gotten that pretty much finished up, um, painted it. I don't think he's got the camo on it yet, but he's got it painted green and it looks. It looks pretty nice and it's right down by the, the creek and uh, there's a great spot for where the deer cross and, and there's all kinds of trails going in and out of there so that'll be a good spot for the hunting season. So there we go. Here's the start of our yurt outhouse. Uh, this will eventually become a hunting stand, but we're building it today. Uh, we're going to assemble it. We've been working on this the last week. But we're going to assemble it today and then we're going to use our composting toilet in this for the time being until we get our tiny home built. Uh, so far we've gotten the uh, base put together and then we got three of the wall sections put on and the top plate. Now we're going to be starting to put on the roof, which the rafters are already nailed together. My father, Jake, so he has the design. If you ever want to purchase one of these things, he'll build you one. the roof on. Get some tar paper. We got to finish up the windows and the door. That probably won't happen today, but as you go in here, it's starting to look pretty sweet. Alright, we're back on the yurt. Today I'm going to be putting on the drip edge and potentially getting some shingles put down. Hopefully I can do the whole thing. It's not that big of a roof, but there's uh, quite a bit of cutting. So let's get started.
players. I'll smash my fingers. This is used drip edge. So it doesn't look the best, but good enough for this project. All these sides are the same length. So I just came up with a pattern. And now I cut them all out and I'm just going to put them all up. So it's just Lloyd Boy and I up here. What do you think so far, bud? Not impressed, huh? Well, the drip edge is on. It looks okay. It doesn't look too close. So now I'm going to sweep the roof off and I'm going to start to put the shingles on. And these are leftover shingles from the addition on our house. The shingles are going on and um, I'm just lapping over this first section. I'm lapping over on both sides and as I go around I will cut the next, so I'll go to the right and I will cut this line uh, I'll cut this edge 30 degrees and then I'll lap over on the next section and I'll do the same thing. I'll cut I'll cut that next start, you know, the, the beginning of that 30 degrees and then I'll lap over the other side. That's the process. Not quite done. Roofing by yourself is a little rough because you got to get up and down off of the ladder so many times. Today I finished up the shingling. We did plant some plants here along the boardwalk. So that'll look kind of cool. So back to the yurt. The yurt has the top on. And on the tippy top, it has a glass skylight. Right. So if you look up, we'll have a photo of this too, but basically we have a skylight in the yurt. These will all be windows that flip up. There's the composting toilet. And I'll give you a video on that later. Hey everybody. Okay, today uh, we are going to put some windows in and hopefully get this door put on the yurt. So, Jake, my dad and I put these windows together and I'm going to put the hinges on and hang them and then we're going to put jams up up to the windows. Uh, the door is going to be another process. Hopefully we get that put on today too. So it's enclosed and ready to uh, ready to paint. Alright, I don't know how well you can see in here, but we're inside the yurt. There's the skylight. And we have our first window installed, sort of. I have them hung. And then we'll go around from the outside and put the jams in. Um, and that should cover out, the jams will cover out beyond the sheathing. And uh, then we'll do some sort of a frame on the outside and paint. So these aren't, aren't intended to be completely waterproof and last forever. So, you know, we could side them in, in whatever we want and caulk them. They're going to be painted. Um, so hopefully they are fairly watertight and hold up for 20 years. We'll see. So it's exciting. First window. So I'm starting to frame in the door and it's a 24 inch door centered. 
pretty straightforward, simple. I have to put the sheathing around and then I'm going to go over to the barn and build the build the door quick. All right. So we ripped down these pieces to fit on the corners. So I'll show you how we installed those. They basically go up on each corner and we're just trimming them out just like that. So we go on right up up to the rafter. So this one will fit right up like that. Got a door. So here's where we got today on the year. We got the door all trimmed out, hinges on, handle, lock, and uh, we got the jams put in. So this thing actually closes up real nice. We have just a temporary little latch down here, you can see. We didn't get all of the windows finished. I'm going to come up next weekend and, and uh, finish that stuff up, get it trimmed out, and probably prime this whole thing. So. I still have to nail them, but I got them all, all pieced in to size. This is how every window is going to be. And then we're going to take some of this old lumber that I was gifted uh, from my dad. And that's going to trim it out. So we will go around the outer edge with that. Here's what we're doing. We, uh, I got this thing trimmed out. This is how each window is going to look. So we put the jams in and then I trimmed it out just like this. This is all going to get painted and uh, it'll look nice. So this is all going to be white. Everything is going to be white except for, I don't know if we're going to paint the exterior of this thing brown or gray. The tiny home is going to be dark gray and probably some mixed materials, some brown. So I, I got to talk to Kim and see what she wants to do. But there's the progress. Working my way around. Looking good. the little lock you have on it. Stop. I still got things 
taped up. Yeah. But I want a shooting lane. I gotta make the shooting lane too. I want one up. Well, we could spend some time cutting in. The yurt has been primed. All the trims on, window jams in, the door has been trimmed, and we have all the hardware on too. This is this is a pretty neat setup inside for these windows. In a, in a yurt, everything kind of comes to center, so when you open these windows up, they, they actually will hit each other. So I put on this little hardware, and these bungees hook behind there. If I got that, or if I showed you that properly. But... So the next one can open up. carry over this look feel to the tiny home.
all the necessities to compost. Hello? Well.